welcome to today's construction class. My name remains Uluwa Tumbi Blessing or Lali, the founder of My Epic. Alright, today we'll be considering the problem as displayed on the screen right here on the topic titled Sectional Review. So, if this is the first time of you watching one of my uh, YouTube tutorials on Sectional Review, kindly check the link under the description below. You will see the part one of this video where I actually explain all the details of what section have you actually entails. Okay, so ensure you watch the part one before watching this. So this is the second part of section have you. and on the part one session of this problem, we considered an Olu object. An Olu object. Today we'll be considering an object with a web. An object with a web. Right now, if you've watched the pattern of this video as I do, see okay, before you can actually say you want to delve into the world of sectional view, first you must have understood perfectly the concept of orthographic projection, conversion from orthographic projection to isometric projection. Then, if you are good with this, then sectional view will be so cheap like planting chips to you. Believe me, I can assure you of that. All right. Okay, now looking at this problem on the screen, the very first thing you need, okay, for me as a person, I don't need to understand how this actually looks like isometrically because I know the answer. Okay, but just to uh, clear the end, just to clear the end, looking at this object, how are we going to view this object if we are to produce it pictorially, isometrically? Okay, if we are to produce this object isometrically, this is what we will be having. Considering the front view and the end view, based on my explanation on previous uh, topics on how to convert orthographic to isometric, this area is my front, this area is my back. These are front view, quite right. These are front on the plan, these are back on the plan. If you don't understand that, I think I can actually uh, explain that better. Okay? By Okay, now let me make use of this object now. Okay, looking at this object, okay, looking at this object, if I have this area as the front view, okay, my plan will be like this. I'm having this area as a plan. Okay, shit. That was it, right? No, I said this area of my plan is what is the front, why this area is the back. Now, these are from the, if I turn it like this, you can see, you know these are from the, this other side, okay, these are back. Turn it like this, this area is our what, you see, our front view, why this area is our, what, our back view, do you see that? So, what does that imply? That implies that this stuff I see on my front view is actually on the front, why the back is what is plain, like my plane, it is plain, okay, that's it. So, then, with that knowledge in mind, which is what I'm using to explain this. Our front is clean, our back is clean. So this stuff we are seeing is what? Right here in the middle. And if that is the case, that object pictorially is going to look like this. Do you see? So now look at it. Front view from this direction. You see that? We have what? This. Then our plan from the top. We have what? This. That is it. Cheap, like planting chips. Easy as A, B, and C. If you want to understand how to convert that, I think I have up to like, is it 8 or 9 series video on how to convert this from autogram to isometric? So kindly check through uh, my playlist. You see it's conversion of view, auto to ISO. You see it. Or check the autographic projection playlist you find it there sitting and waiting for you it is actually sweet and highly informative then also it is highly educative that's just it so one thing is this if you are enjoying my video ensure you click the like button if you haven't subscribed ensure you subscribe and also refer it to your friends who might be in of it that's it so don't be uh selfish yeah should i put it that way okay. share with your colleagues who the video might actually help in one way or the other. Now, back to solving this problem. 
It says we are giving two views A to use the sectional front elevation. Sectional front Y Y. B sectional plan X X and C end elevation on the right hand side. So most of the time, Y questions, engineering drawing questions, when you have to do with assembly, yeah, it comes out this way. You need to produce sectional front, sectional plan, then end view. That's it. It's as simple as that. Now, remember, if you watch this series one of this video, the part one of this video, I said if our object is sectioned on the elevation like this, facing downward, what they are asking for is what is sectional plan. That's it. So you have this object now. Thank God, this is Victoria view of this object. Now, somebody pick a knife and slice this object throughout like this, and is now what facing downward. What are you seeing? You are seeing the plan of that object because plan is what I'm seeing from the top. I am seeing the sectional plan of that object like that. That was our, our x x. Why, if the object is being sliced from the plan facing either this way or this way, we will be seeing what the elevation in one way or the other, and that's what is happening here now. So this object is being sliced like this through the center and direction like this. You see, you see these are what front view. Isn't it? So facing this direction like this, what are we saying? We are saying what half of this object, sectional what front view. It's as simple as that. It's as simple as that. Now, this object now, as it is being sliced, how is it going to look like? Let me show you something. It's going to look like this. If you agree with me. Let me make it much more okay to see. Okay, this is what we'll be seeing. Half of this part, this is it. So we'll be seeing this object like this. That's the meaning. We'll be seeing it like this. If we call this object into two, the other half will be here. The other half will be here like this. This will be the other half. Okay, this will be the other half of this object. This will be an half. Why this will be the other half? So, like that. Alright? Like that. This will be the other half of it. Okay, now, our YY, when I cut it, what am I saying? When we cut our object like this, this is what we are saying. So, our sectional front is going to be this. This is what we are saying. That is it. Now, picking my knife, Cutting through this object, my knife is going to touch the whole of this area like this. And remember, this area is a solid object, it also touches it. But this is it. If we are sectioning a web on the elevation, if we are sectioning the web on the elevation to give our sectional front view, we don't section it, we don't show the section line on the web because it is what it is a web. We can only show the section line if it is from the plan. Okay. If the section line is reflected on the plan, we can show it, but if it is on the front elevation, we won't section it. So, what does that imply? That implies that this object will be sectioned like this. Yeah, this is called section line or arch line, and it is done at angle 45 degrees to the horizontal plane. Arch line at angle 45 degrees to the horizontal plane. You will be saying, after all, my knife touches this area, it touches it, but this is a web. So, we don't section a web on the elevation. Take note of that. Alright, so these are what our section Y Y sectional front elevation. Do you see that now? Now B sectional plan X X. So if our object is being reached in this order on the two down, that's somewhere here based on the question, somewhere here like this, facing downward. 
What are you going to work? Why are trying to receive the plan like this? You will agree with me. We will see our plan like this. No one. Okay. But where the section line cuts across like this, it, it touches this part of this area. It doesn't it will not touch this part, it will touch this part. So I trace this part downward. So let's give it that part. Then it touch the other part again. So the only way I'm going to section is with this area where it touches and it touches this obviously. So that will be the solution. Do you agree with me now? That's just it. So just cut it like this all the way down. That's it. So that's our what? Our X. X. This is what? Y. Y. And the examiner says end view on the right hand side. So which means initially this object will work in first angle. These are our front view. These are our plan. End view on the right hand side means we are viewing this object from here, from this direction. Do you understand? They never said right end view. They said end view on the right hand side. So which means they asked me for what left end view because in first angle or the left direction, the chart says the chart of first angle says front view plan left end view and what right end view. They said on the right hand side, this is our right hand side, and that is going to be what left end view. View from here, our end view is what that is what are we seeing from here? That's meaning. What are we seeing from here? We are seeing what this. So that is the end. That is the solution to this problem. A, B, and what and C. All right. So take note. If I am too fast, you can adjust the speed of this video so that you can watch it at your own pace. Just click on the three vertical line. Of the video on YouTube, okay. You see settings, click on settings, you see uh, play speed. You understand? You see play speed, click on the play speed, then adjust it to zero point whatever to your preference so that you can actually enjoy uh, this informative and educative video. All right, and that brings us to the end of this particular problem as displayed on the screen right here, okay. So, a web object, we don't section it on the elevation, but we section it on the plan. That is what I want to actually pass across in this particular video. Once again, my name remains Uluwa to be blessing or Ladley, the founder of my getting. Kindly enjoy subscribe to this YouTube channel and also refer it to your friends who might be in need of it. Thank you.